today we are going to a place called Bezier. We're not far away from now, you can see it right behind me. And we have a couple of locks to go through before we get to the main uh, town basin. And there, once we're there, I think we're gonna have um, a couple of mooring options. One to what's called nature moorings, so just on the side of the bank. And the other is a dock with apparently electricity and water and whatnot. So we'll see what's available. And then we can spend the weekend here. And uh, that'll be really nice. I can see the big cathedral from here. And I can see another church, I think. So yeah, it looks like a historic town. I think it'll be nice. Woken up to our first morning on the uh, French canals. Yesterday morning we had only just put the mast onto the uh, A-frame. Sorry, I'm just uh, the scenery that we have seen. I mean, I know that I'm always like, oh my god, isn't it beautiful? This is just stunning. It's very different to anything we've ever done before, but it is visually just stunning. And the other thing that I notice as well is that it doesn't smell like the sea anymore. This smells like land. We're on land. And it's strange having the boat moored up, literally. Under trees. Under trees next to a canal bank. It's beautiful, it's stunning. Um, loving it, absolutely loving it. I mean, I think we're probably gonna take a minimum of three weeks, probably more likely to be six weeks to get through. And it'll be interesting to see how we feel when we get to the other end of all this. Um, because it's new, but yeah, I, I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it, I think, you know, it will be, if, you know, if we find, you know, even half a dozen really lovely little places to stop, uh, it'll be difficult to pull ourselves out of here. And there's a green light up ahead for the lock, so. Yes, I thought the lock was coming up, and I had hoped to eat my breakfast before we did this, but no. Is there enough space for us? No, this isn't the lock. There's no gates on the other side. Babe, it's a lock. They're tied up to the side of it. It's a lock, trust me. Yeah, one low and one high. Okay, good. Bonjour. What do you need to do with this cruiser? Oui, uh, the man on the bike trying to find us a place. Yeah, I heard. Okay, I can't swing because I've got the left lock gate next to me. fairly straightforward uh, when we were in the lock when we were about to cast off and try and find somewhere to stay for a couple of nights we were approached by someone on a bicycle who looked like they were here on an official capacity and uh, he said to us you know what are you doing are you going through the next lock or are you staying and we said nope we're staying and um, he said okay I'll find you a place I think that he must work he obviously works for the actual the port so yeah we tied up in a nice big dock section and uh, Nick's just coming back from checking us in and now we are going to explore Bézier. How'd you go babe? Very, 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 very kind Ecclusier stroke tourist guide. Yeah. So Here, come, come, and come and tell the people. Um, no, um, the, the lock keeper, Ecclusier, was very informative. Yeah. Um, firstly, it's cheap here. Okay, all right, so how much is it here? Um, okay, so there's for us, for two nights, it was 40 euros. Okay, so cheap, but not like dirt, dirt cheap. No, but five, ten years of that was for unlimited water and electricity. Okay. So that, and if you come here out of season, which is the 31st of, starts the 31st of March, to so the 1st of April is high season start. So, but it, out of season, it's seven euros a night here. Hmm. So you can stay here, like, you could winter here on a boat, 
Yes, he's absolutely. And he was, he's rich, he was such a nice bloke. Was yeah. the same guy on the bike? Yeah, he Aww. took, he only took, you know, he's given me a really good map when he's told us where we need to go and all the things. One thing he did mention was there's a really good artisan brewery here. Oh, hello. That does uh, I a thought lot. we were in what wine area. No, apparently this is a degustation du, du bière Bier. artisanale. Oui. Uh, so there's that. J'aime bien. Um, so there's that to do. Um, he said the electricity and water are fine. You can have as much water as you want. It's all drinkable, so Great. we can drink, fill our tanks, fill our bottles, whatever. And we can wash the boat a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, this boat needs a good wash. It's covered in dust in the boatyard. There's a there's a, an artisan market. So my thoughts are we get the uh, shore power sorted out later. Yeah, we and don't just need go it. Out. Just get going. Let's just lock yeah. the boat up. Make sure everything's stowed. Turn the instruments okay. off. Turn everything off. Get the keys out of the ignition and get going. All right, let's go. Here. We have the antiques market from which we're going to furnish our canal boats. <laughs> Snow on the top. So we've come from Barcelona. There you go, 234 kilometers away. All the way over there is where we've come from. <laughs> There's the uh, the nine locks. Can you see them? No. And Toulouse, which is where we're going, is over that mountain. Then. No. We're going over a mountain. Well, that can't be right. Well, we've got to get to go around there. We, you know, we got to lose 164 kilometers out that way. We've got to go to Toulouse. Hey, oh, Carcassonne, that's where we're going. Yes. So Carcassonne is that Carcassonne. way. Carcassonne. Paris? Paris. We've got to go to this tunnel of Paris. Yes. 300 year old tunnel. 273 meters long. A 300 year old tunnel. Mm -hmm. How long? 373 meters long. Right by six and by eight. Okay. So it's big enough to get one boat through at a time. So we're going to have to be on our hooty horn. Yeah. Well, there's a, yeah. <laughs> we are upstream traffic, so we don't have the right of way. Yeah, but once we're in. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it works. First impressions of Bezier are very, very positive. It's an absolutely beautiful little town. It's so clean and pretty and picturesque. And that view is absolutely stunning. It's kind of mad to think that, <laughs> I mean, this is our first real stop on the canals and we have got so much further to go. And I'm a little bit daunted by the distance, but at the same time, we're gonna try and take it relatively slowly so that we can just enjoy it. I can't wait. It's very rare that, well, actually it's not that rare. <laughs> I often, I'm full of superlatives about a place that we are staying. Right? I'm always banging on about how amazing it is, you know, Valencia, Barcelona. We went for a walk this morning because we've got to do a seven, a seven lock climb with the boat uh, in a few days time so we went to look at the locks. We happened to take a small detour and we ended up in a most amazing artisan food market, no? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to do a pan and to show you where we are. So we're in a field which is <coughs> full of olive trees. Uh, there, we're going to start with the first thing, Teresa. Then this is Provence, Provence, oh no, so it's Languedoc, Languedoc. And then if you look around there on the hill, that is the cathedral at Bézier. Beautiful. Coming to the full 360, there's a taco truck. And just about there, there is an artisan beer truck. Yeah, craft beer. Artisan beer truck, taco truck. We're in France, it's hot. And there's a Melodian player that let me play a Melodian. I haven't played the Melodian in two years. Anyway, happy Sunday. All right, I'm not sure if it's beer o'clock yet. It's not even midday, but if the French are doing it, that's good enough for me. Cheers. Mm. 
It's an ale. Ooh, it's a blonde ale. That's really good. Mm. French can do beer as well as wine, it turns out. So, we found a taco store, a taco yeah. van. In France, obviously. Le taco. <laughs> so we've got Carnitas, locally brewed Bezian beer. Yep. I am supremely happy. I know, life is so good right now. Alright, eat. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we have to negotiate low bridges, long tunnels and a seven lock staircase, which is exactly as stressful and difficult as it sounds. Fend off at the stern. Yeah. Jesus, that was unlike anything else I've ever done in my life. Yeah. If that sounds like something you would enjoy, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next week. We got something magical, pretending that nobody knows, trying to hide but it shows. Lost my sense of logical. Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones Nothing free